I wanted to make a video for all you tape enthusiasts out there. Uh, this is my micro cassette collection. I've actually been uh, collecting these for quite a while. I think for about 20 years now, I've been keeping a journal on these things. Uh, ever since I was little, I've liked to keep a journal, but I never liked to write much. And uh, when I was about eight years old, my mom did some journalism work, and she had a micro cassette recorder. And I found it one day, and was fascinated with it because the tapes were so small, and it worked so good for recording voice. I just had to have one of my own. And uh, a few years later, I got this very recorder here, this uh, Olympus Pearl Quarter S921. Still works good. In fact, I've had the same batteries in it for several years now, and they're still good. I just used it. Um, I just used it a couple weeks ago. But anyway, my oldest tapes are in this safe here that's been in my closet for a long, long time, and I just now pulled it out to have a look. All these loose ones here were stuffed on top, but I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm one of those people that uh, really enjoys looking at the different types of labels on records and tapes and things like that. The ones I remember the most from when I had this recorder as a kid were these silver and red Sony tapes from the early to mid 90s. Um, and then later on down the road they got these black, white, and red labels. I got a lot of those tapes. In fact, most of what's in here is probably those Sonys. And then there's a bunch of these Gemini tapes with varying colors on them. Some were purple, some were black. And you got, let me pull a couple out here. Got an interesting looking Maxell there. That one there's another Gemini. Sony. There's a black Gemini tape. Um, put that back in there. Got a whole bunch of these uh, Olympus tapes. I don't know why I've always been so fascinated with the different artwork on, especially on tapes and records. Uh, just, just the way the different labels look. And I would always go out looking for any type of tape that I could find it was had a different label on it because it was just really fascinating to me. And this uh, big box here, I actually got this at a flea market. It was full of tapes. I think they were like a, uh, in fact I can try and have a look here. There's some Panasonics. I'm going to make quite a mess doing this, but I'm curious what's in this box. Oh yeah, this is a bulk pack of uh, um, Norelco tapes. I'm not sure if they were bulk for answering machine use or what they were, but I filled them up. And, uh, <clears throat> this box here, this is uh, mostly full tapes. There's some empty ones still in the packages, but I think all in all, I've probably got a little over 300 tapes here. I lost track a long time ago. Uh, a few years ago I counted them and I came up to about 260 and I've since gotten all these and all these other ones here. Yeah, Gemini, Gemini. There you, there you go.